Hi beauties, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be doing a full inspired makeup tutorial today. Everything's quite matte on the eyes, on the lips as well. The only thing that's glowing is my skin because we still want our skin to look glowy. I absolutely love this look and I hope you do as well. So let's jump straight into this video. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe down to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. Join the K squad. We're Lily over here, so you might as well join us, be a part of us, be a part of the family. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So today we're going to start off with the eyes. I know it's been a minute that I started my tutorial with doing my eyes. It just feels weird now. By the way, I am using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13.5. Just to cancel out my dark circles around my eyes. And this will act as a primer as well for our eyeshadow. Boom. Like so. Personally, I like to set my concealers whenever I use it on my eyelid i know a lot of people don't do that and that is completely fine because it works best for them that way but with me whenever i do that technique my eyeshadow always end up getting patchy and it doesn't blend out so i mess it to the way that i know okay <laughs> so to do that i'm going to just use a setting powder i'm just going to use that to lightly set the concealer so the palette i'm going to use today is the revelation pro gold mind palette for me, some of makeup revelation eyeshadows are pretty damn good. So, yeah, this is the palette I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna start off by grabbing Royalty, which is this shade right here. So we're gonna place that right above our crease. And I always say above my crease because my crease is right here, which gives me like a tiny lid space. And it gives me quite um, a lot of space to work and blend shadows on. Look at the pigment, y'all. There is massive kickback in the pan, but with this payoff, I absolutely don't mind. So next I'm gonna grab Bourjois. I'm gonna place that right below my transition color, and it's gonna go right in my crease as well. So right in here. As you guys can see, that shade isn't coming out as dark as I want it to on my skin tone. So I'm gonna go in with Hollywood, and I'm gonna place that right in my crease as well, but mainly on my outer corners. And that is looking very, very, very ugly. <laughs> Just a blend like this dark brown because I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to go into my Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour. I'm going to grab this brown right here. I'm just going to use that to lightly blend that shade. Oh, I like that. I'm going to go back in with Hollywood and just put that on again to my outer corners. Next, I'm gonna get in with Splendid and we're just gonna place that on our lid. And then going back in with Hollywood, just for the outer corners and to blend the lid shade together. This is like a very subtle all matte shadow. So we're gonna move on to the skin and then come back to our eyes. I'm gonna be using the next Honey Do Me Up primer. The splash that on my face. Oh yeah, by the way, I have like a big ass spot i don't know how i got it probably from all like all the channels i've been eating lately but i don't want it to be on my face like i want it to go away <laughs> i'm just gonna rub that primer in until it becomes tacky next you guys already know i'm gonna go in with my l'oreal true match concealer in the shade espresso i'm just gonna use it to cover up this the glass spot and all my dark blemishes. To foundation, I'm gonna use my Lancome Ultra 24 Hours Wear with my Fenty Beauty in the shade 470. Shake, shake, shake. Slap that on my, oh, that's a little bit red. That's a little bit red, but we're gonna finesse it, so it's okay. Buff that into my skin. I was literally just about to do this because I'm so used to doing that. Boom, 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 boom. So now that I've blended it out, it doesn't look that bad, does it? We're going to go in and highlight our face. And today I'm going to be using my Mary Kay Concealer in the shade Bronze, Light Bronze. I'm just going to... Ooh, she light. She light. I am just going to place this just underneath my eyes only. I'm going to go in and just blend that out. So to highlight the rest of my face because my under eye is really bright, I'm going to go in my Sleek Makeup cream contour kit in the shade extra dark and I'm gonna grab this shade right here I'm gonna go in and blend out that concealers 
And then to contour my face, I'm gonna go back into my sleep makeup contour. And I'm gonna grab this dark shade right here. Use my beauty blender, I'm just gonna twist it in it. And then go straight in and contour. And then go back in with my foundation brush just to blend everything together. I feel like my skin is looking really good right now. So I'm gonna go in next using my busted Maybelline powder. You guys already know the deal with this powder, it's the balm. Just gonna lightly set my highlighted areas. I really want to try out another powder because I keep using this powder in every single video. So let me know a really good powder down below for me to try out, please. Thank you. To set my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with this Barry M um, Ready Set Smooth powder. It's really yellow. I can't remember if I like this powder or not. Hopefully I did. It is really yellow, so anyone that likes like yellow powders, check this one out. Boom! Now that we're looking very, very dusty, we're gonna go in and set our contour as well. I've been really enjoying using this eyeshadow to set my contour because it just makes my face look really chocolate and I love it. It's these two shades right here. I tried it once and it just done something to me and now I can't put it down. Do you guys ever get like that? Like you find a new product that you like and you can't put it down until like it runs out. So that's I'm just gonna go in and dust off the excess powder because I can't bake for too long or else I'll start to look ashy. So we're going to go back into the Gold Mine palette. I'm going to grab Royalty first and place that right underneath my eyes. And then go in with Hollywood as well. Now I'm going to go in and set my face using my Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Setting Spray. So I am gonna go in and add a wing liner using my NYX eyeliner. And then we're gonna go in and add a black liner in our waterline as well. I'm gonna go back to the same palette and I'm gonna grab crown. I'm gonna place that in my inner corners. Oh, yes. I'm also gonna place this on my nose and use it as my nose highlight. Might as well just use it to highlight as well. Boom, lashes are on and these are surely bad from K Beauty. Last step, we're gonna go to the lips. I'm gonna grab a brown lip liner. I'm just gonna use that to line my lips. And then I'm gonna go with my next lingerie lip and lipstick in the shade Push Up. So I apply a little bit more in the center of my lips. Like so, and we are pretty much done with this look. So this is the end of the video. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me know down below in the comment section. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and learned something from it. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. And like always, I definitely don't want you guys to leave yet. So I'll kindly pull up a video for you to watch right here. I made it really easy for you guys. All you have to do is just click on the video on the screen and just watch that one as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.